Imagine this. Right now, without warning, the sun instantly vanishes. Not explodes, not dims, just gone. And for eight terrifying minutes, nothing seems wrong at all. Earth keeps orbiting an empty point in space, daylight continues, birds keep flying, and no one notices until the last sunlight arrives and the world snaps into darkness at noon. Temperatures begin dropping fast, photosynthesis shuts down, and within days, plants die, food chains collapse, and the surface starts freezing from the poles outward. The moon drifts away, untethered, while Earth shoots forward at 67,000 miles per hour into interstellar space, becoming a rogue planet wrapped in a rapidly freezing atmosphere. Within weeks, oceans begin to ice over, storms vanish, winds slow, and carbon dioxide and oxygen start snowing out of the sky as the air itself freezes solid. Civilization fails almost immediately, but deep underground, near nuclear reactors, geothermal vents, and bunkers, some life might cling on, surviving on stored energy and Earth's internal heat. Over thousands of years, radioactive decay could keep pockets of liquid water alive beneath miles of ice, turning Earth into a frozen world with a hidden ocean, drifting silently between stars. Gravity would still hold us together, days would still pass, but the rhythms that shaped life, sunrise, seasons, warmth, would be gone forever. And as Earth wanders the galaxy in total darkness, passing distant stars that never grow closer, one truth becomes unavoidable. Everything we know exists because the sun stayed exactly where it is. Which is why the scariest part isn't the cold or the dark. It's realizing that for eight quiet minutes, nothing would feel wrong at all, until the light disappeared and the story began exactly where it ends.